Hi guys. All right, so I'm gonna open some packages and show you guys what I've got um, before I throw these boxes out. <laughs> yes, I'm, this is this is the look today, okay? This package number one is from Amazon. I basically wanted to get some sparkling cider for one of the wine things last week and it's just getting here now. So a week later, even though I had prime delivery, I'm getting my pomegranate juice. But I'm gonna enjoy this when I break fast today, for sure. For sure, for sure, I got Nudson pomegranate juice, which you see how this got here in one piece? This is what pisses me off about Target. How are you not gonna get my flower here in one piece? If Amazon can get me a whole sparkling glass bottle here in one piece. Just explain to me. Oh my God. Wow. I just realized I recorded all of that and none of it recorded after I showed you guys the drink. So let me just show you guys again. Oh, one of the things I got was from the container store. I got this. It's an, a knife organizer. I'm putting it up there because the rest of my organization stuff from them hasn't, has not come yet. So, so I'm going to wait until that comes before I um make any decisions about how i'm putting things in although i already know because y'all know i drew it out <laughs> i also got a package from lush i got tea tree water refer renewal oh my god a tea tree water refill i just get the bigger one and refill my smaller bottle nowadays this is my toner and has been for like wow it might be we're heading like eight years probably if not longer softy foot solution great foot lotion because we want our feet to be soft and then this is my favorite exfoliator it's ocean salt i use it on my face my neck because whatever you do to your face you got to do near your neck i use it on my hands my lips and my body i use it on my underarms because it's really good to help um your skin there not darken especially if you wax and shave and things like that and then i do it over here on my shoulders and like in my chest area because i do get spots there i don't know if you guys can see but yeah so refills on that and Lush is such like a natural brand that's been their whole ethos before it was the thing to be the ethos. So definitely check them out if that's something that you're passionate about or interested in. And then last but not least is this white sheet. I got a white sheet in a bigger size than the one I had. If you guys watched a video, one of my last vlogs, you'll see that I um, created like a home studio fake type thing and I wanted a white background. So I brought a bigger one because the one I got had was for my twin bed and it's too small. So I want to be able to have a bigger one in the future so that I take up more space and have to do less worrying about editing. Don't know when that's gonna happen because that's part of my apartment is not usable anymore. I'll show you guys in a bit why. But yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go work out. I'm gonna clean my room first. I'm gonna work out, get rid of all these boxes, clean the bathroom, and then I'm chilling. I'm sorry. I'm I've been working all day. <laughs> you know, so see you guys. After doing all that, people still find a way from knocking and then saying, damn, how much is enough? around that time. And I remember Magic Johnson saying, you guys are gonna drive him out of this game. So, it's 1 a.m. Friday night. I basically spent the whole day cleaning and getting Anyakami's room ready. I guess she's coming tomorrow. Or I guess today, because it's one in the morning, <laughs> lol. And now I'm here. Um, this is what my living room is looking like. Obviously not ideal, but we are living in unideal situations at the moment. So we do what we got to do to help the people we care for. Anywho, I watched some more of The Last Dance and it was so good. Michael Jordan was like kind of a monster and I loved it. <laughs> I love people who are just so unapologetically like, I'm going to do what I need to do to be the best. I just love it. Like it's, um, it's such a vibe for me. Anywho. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I wanna wake up tomorrow morning early and try and take that thread up bag, which, ooh, I highly recommend if you guys want to sell your things and don't want to do it so difficultly. 
with difficulty if you guys want to sell your stuff that you guys don't want anymore like clothing and stuff and shoes it's a really cool way to do it just package it up i had asked for ups to pick usps to pick it up on wednesday when the mail person came no one came and knocked on my door so i'm gonna try and take it tomorrow morning because i cleaned up my closet a bit when i was doing my um simply storage thing so yeah hopefully i can get that out tomorrow morning and then i'm talking to a friend anywho i'm gonna go to sleep now because i'm pooped <laughs> and i'm gonna drink a lot of water actually so i'm not going to sleep i'm gonna drink lots of water for the last day of shovel fasting tomorrow i'm so excited god is good <laughs> also i just finished praying which also god is good good morning guys i'm now off to the post office and as i was saying i'm now off to the post office to get rid of my thread up bag this one's a lot lighter than the other ones i had to take during the snow because obviously i have to do things on the hardest day anyhow oh my outfit wearing my shop harper sage jumpsuit this old Rebecca Minkoff bag and my white full of sneakers, which I love. So yeah, let's go. Essentially wearing the same thing I wore yesterday with a denim jacket on top because I'm cold. I will address some of the clips yesterday and I will address how I'm feeling right now a little bit later. I'm gonna go get my avocado shake. I don't want you guys to think I'm just living life and I'm not gonna address what I just showed you guys um, and what's going on in the world, but that will happen in a little bit. And I am going to go get my elbow shake and I have to go get a new toothbrush because I broke mine today. No comment. Anywho, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. <laughs> having dinner now and Yikime got me this at Pekin while she was there yesterday so I'm gonna have that just finished my smoothie I'm gonna eat this I need to take my digestive enzyme first though but I'm super excited look at that these plantains look fire hi guys so I just got back and had some food and I'm sitting here and I just want to talk to you guys a little bit so yesterday I knew there were gonna be protests and I was thinking about going and thinking if it was the right decision or not and I was just not sure for a lot of reasons um and I was just like sort of I don't know just it was on my mind it was on my heart and so I went on a walk and I was sitting at the mat because you guys know I love sitting on the steps there and the protest essentially came to me. They ended up 
along their way down they stopped there and i was like this is a sign from allah <laughs> or at least that's how i felt so i just joined them for a bit and walked down and honestly it was such a weird experience because for me it was almost like disheartening because it's like the physicality of marching juxtaposed to what we're asking for, which is essentially just the right to live, the right to be. It just made me so sad to think about how much exertion has to go into asking for something that should be a born right. Like, it just... Uh, it really hit me in a way that I wasn't expecting. Um, not that I was expecting anything, honestly. But yeah, I am super glad to see people protesting and being vocal about their um, feelings about this, what happened to George Floyd, what has been happening to people of color in this country, not just George Floyd. Um, it's interesting to watch and see how this has grown, specifically this specific situation. Um, I'm trying to not let what has happened in the past be like the thing that I project onto the future. I just want to see what happens in the future, but, and I'm hoping that the past doesn't repeat itself because we know how this usually goes. And I'm hoping that the leaders of this country truly do understand um, how we feel about this because this is not a joke. This is not something to be toyed with. These are lives that are being lost, specifically the lives, lives of colored people or people of color in the United States, specifically men. And as a person who has a younger brother and um, my cousin who are two black men in my life that I really, really care about, I'm angry. It's like my one of my biggest fears. Like I, you, sh I shouldn't have to be worried about that. So, basically, my thoughts are: it's ridiculous that this is even a conversation. It makes me so so fr frustrated and angry. And frankly, if you you need to have me explain to you why this is an issue, I don't know what to tell you. That is not my job. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Um. You need to go ahead and educate yourself. If you can't see that it's simply wrong to take away someone's life for no reason in that situation, then I don't know if this is a conversation that I want to have anyway. You're not a person that I want to have a conversation with. So it's crazy for me to see the different sides of that. Anywho, I'm getting a little worked up. I just wanted to say I went out and I saw and I joined a protest and it was peaceful and I am very happy with that decision. And then as I was walking back, I saw what was happening at Trump Tower. I stayed there for a bit, watched that in solidarity because I do think people are angry <laughs> and they wanna show that. you. I do really believe that you can't tell people who've been oppressed how they should show the world what that has done to them sorry like I, that's just how i feel um so yeah and then i came home i ended up being out for five hours and didn't even realize it until i came home and i was pooped so that's why i didn't really talk about it yesterday but yeah this is how i feel about what's going on it's we are honestly i don't know how many years late hundreds of years late on this conversation and also let's not forget i saw something that really hit me and it was like this is stolen land this country which we stole from the native americans y'all already know how i feel about that and then built by stolen people the slaves so the way i feel is these people built this land and their ancestors I'm not saying we because my parents, I am first generation, so I don't want to jump on that narrative and steal that narrative because it's not my narrative to st steal. Um, but yeah, and if they're choosing to tell you about how they feel about what you've done to them after you've done that, 
y'all are gonna have no no freaking other choice but to listen okay listen anyway oh i'm getting angry um yeah i just honestly hope that things change i keep praying for that i keep putting that out into the universe and trying to manifest that because that's what i think will be best for everyone until black lives matter all lives can't matter is how i feel um yeah i'm gonna try and post resources and things like that places you can donate and all that stuff down in the description box to have a more of an action related um ask or aspect to this conversation here because i don't want it to be just chat 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 with no end um but yeah that's how i'm feeling i'm hoping everyone is safe and dealing with this however they feel best to deal with this because it's a heavy heavy time and i'm just honestly exhausted absolutely exhausted by being a person of color in this country and i know that there are a lot of other people of color that feel that way so i want to send love and light and positive energy to you because that is the best i can do but also i really do hope that that impacts you um and that that brings some positivity to your day but we're all in this together and i'm right there with you guys um feeling frustrated and angry and all these emotions um that are running through our heads but stay strong better days are coming inshallah now I'm in love with your body. Why, oh, why, oh, why?